Hello peasants and welcome back to another Minecraft video. It's King Minecraft Chris and this is part three of our three part series. Yeah, the final part. Furnishing this amazing house and garden. So, starting here on the greenhouse, I just looked up greenhouse inspiration and to be honest, it's built lots of random things. You have like sort of a grapevine sort of thing, a few dead plants, a few mushrooms, and a few nice flowers that you'd see in a normal greenhouse. And moving on to the shed, I wasn't sure what to do, but I sort of think how I, I yeah, I do like how it came out. So just doing this cobbly stone broken floor and building a pen here, because I thought, oh, I, I have rabbits in my uh, shed, so that sounded weird. <laughs> no, yeah, I do, because um, for the winter, it keeps them warm. And yeah, so I just made a little rabbit cage, put some old bits and bobs in, like you would have in a shed, some dead plants, you know. And it's just getting all the information of what's in my shed. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I decided to do. So, moving to the inside of the house now, where I'm actually starting to furnish, work out the rooms and all that, that sort of thing. Downstairs pretty open plan, but upstairs there's two main bedrooms, and yeah, you'll see how it goes. So building a staircase now, a uh, twirling staircase in this little area here. Quite a small area, but I make the middle a tree, which I really like how it works out, as you see I'm doing here. And merging it in with the leaves at the top, and then it really like, brings the bottom of the house and the top house together. So, starting on dividing up the rooms now, we have two main bedrooms and a bathroom up here, as well as some balconies, and I use cream, uh, white stained clay, uh, a sort of cream colour, because that's what a lot of walls are, but of course I decorate it to make it look nice. Um, you see here I've got ice on the roof, I didn't like seeing that, so I covered it with wood, and I like how it's worked out, I wasn't really sure what to do, but it looks nice in the end. Alright, starting on the bedroom now. So this is the first bedroom out of the two, and I wasn't sure what to do, but I really like how it works out. So the bed's more like sort of hidden, and then the bit that pops out of the house is actually going to be the office, as you see I'll do. Um, adding in some storage and some books, and I make a really nice wardrobe here, using like doors and stuff, which I quite like. And then putting in some plants, a desk, and a computer, which all makes it sort of bring it to like a little office homey bedroom sort of feel. And yeah, I like how it works out. So, working on the hallway now, putting in some nice pictures and stuff, because I don't want to be plain or boring, and I really think this, like, I don't want to put too many pictures, but it sort of does something nice, if you know what I mean. I wasn't sure to do these corner bits, so this picture wouldn't work, but I put fences, and I like how this worked out, it looks like it just sort of breaks up the texture. And now working on the master bedroom. So, doing the beds in the master bedroom, it I couldn't put two beds, or just one bed, because it's like master bed, so I put three in the end. I don't know how it works out, but there we go. And I put some stairs, so it's sort of beds sort of like sunk into the floor, with some nice red carpet, it's really nice. Um, Big wardrobe area, so I thought like bedroom, uh, the master bedroom have a big wardrobe area for lots of stuff. And put a little desk here. I was meant to make a mirror, but it sort of looks more like a fish tank using the blue state blue glass. So I thought, why not? And put some pictures, you know, to gain so it's not like a solid wall. This is the bathroom. I can't build by this one Minecraft, so yeah, just pan out of there. Um, Working on downstairs now, I put some chests under the little staircase and start to work on like a TV sort of uh, entertainment area with a nice uh, lot of chairs you see there and a big TV with big speakers. I use fence posts to sort of split up the rooms. I don't want to put walls and the fence posts you can see through and it makes it look really nice and gives it more of an open room feel. And working on the downstairs bathroom now, which actually has a bath in, I carried on with the black stained clay as sort of just bring it all around and end it off properly. Doing the bath here uh, with like, a nice skylight above, which I really like, and that's the bathroom. As again, not good at bathrooms. Using fence posts again to sort of split up the rooms and doing the main kitchen area. Everything's open plan and of course kitchens always have a tiled floor. I always do this whenever I make a kitchen, it's black and white uh, wool floor. I don't know why I just do, it's, that's just how it should look in my mind. And doing a nice open fire here, as I'd like, in my dream house I'd have a nice open wood fire sort of thing in the kitchen, because it might be a bit dangerous, but there we go. And just building the kitchen now, so I'm using a lot of fence posts, um, which I, I like, works out in the end. A big fridge freezer, using iron blocks and trapdoors, and using stone slabs as like the counters. Then I'm using pistons and sticky pistons to make sort of these like little countertop tables, and the sticky pistons act like messy ones. So, working on the entrance now. I wasn't sure what to do, but I thought I'd put a little, like, a book reading area with an enchanting table out here. And just behind me, you didn't see that, but I actually put, like, a little kids area and with some, like, rails and stuff. So, because I knew the kids have a little toy box and bit and area. So, yeah, that's why I decided to put that. Now I'm working on this final area, which we've got less, like, conservatory. Um, I decided to build a big table here, because, of course, the dining table, I just realised I didn't have that. So, a big dining table with, like, a little cactus in the middle. Um, I wasn't sure what to do, so I just sort of left it with this. Put lots of paintings around, lots of art. To sort of cover up the walls and yeah that that's about it so i hope you enjoyed this little mini series uh nice camera paths now of all what the house looks like i'll put it up for download if you'd like and maybe a 360 video if you'd like as well and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i'll leave you to the rest of this camera view with some nice music and i'll see you in the next one uh, goodbye <laughs>